G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Saved Economy for the 22nd of January, 2000 and something, 2023. I am Josh, welcome today, hope you guys have a great day today. I'd like to talk about the most obviously and serious subject, actually I was going to make a video halfway through the week about it, and that's about the random January bot bans, which banned half of the uh, people who never didn't play anymore as a bot, and also at the same time gave them a vac ban. And you guys may think like, okay, a lot of people who don't play any Valve games don't know the seriousness of a VAC ban. So in Valve games, generally speaking, a VAC ban means you can't participate in any major tournaments in the Valve circuit unless you get an exemption from it as well. One example being uh, Hitman, i.e. I think Hitman, in one of the previous events where he was banned on another game, he has a VAC ban due to hacking and couldn't participate in the major and had to have Valve overturn that ban because it was on a different, completely different game and not on Counter-Strike to participate in the major. Now, this was a long process because he missed two major qualifiers to begin with while waiting for Valve to do any sort of appeal. Now, why I'm talking about that is that Lost Ark recently banned a lot of players who actually weren't even playing the game to begin with in their recent bot ways and put a VAC ban onto their account. Now, a few CSGO players woke up to that Fortunately, there was no major tournaments or valve sanctioned tournaments at all. Otherwise, this could have been a fucking hellstorm. And a really, really, really bad hellstorm. And this is pitiful, okay? Absolutely pitiful, pathetic, incompetent from Amazon. Absolutely stupidity from them. Given the fact that some of these people who've played Lost Ark play other games and maybe be professional players in other games as well and could impact them, you know, significantly. But fortunately, that was not the case. Now, overall, I'm going to say, like, you know, after I said, you know, Amazon, hey, they're, they're, you know, seemingly being unfairly treated for the incompetence that they've shown, like, you know, a few little missteps here and, here and there. Well, you know, I literally ate my, ate my crow and stuff like that after I said that as well. And they, you know, a day after they do this bot band wave, which hits innocent players and also puts back bands on their account. And it's just like, this is the epitome of stupidity. I mean, Steam, at this point, is going to be like, what is going on there? I mean... Do you guys know how to officiate your game and don't, you know, use the back bands so flippantly because they can be so, so difficult to overturn sometimes. Unfortunately, Valve were in contact with Amazon and have reverted all the back bands as well. And this comes from the aggressive uh, sort of tactic they're using to ban bots and get bots out of their game because effectively, you know, more bots in the game equals less money overall. Despite the people who say that, you know, Amazon let bots in their game so they boost the player base. It's like, mate, like, they don't get any money if the entire player base is bots because then no one buys the gold. That's the point. That's why they're not working hand in hand. And all the conspiracy spirits on the forums who talk about, you know, the bots working hand in hand are completely and utterly wrong because Amazon loses money because of the bots, simply put. But this back ban is just another another really nail in the coffin for the, for the game, unfortunately, where you have people who may have, may have potentially came back, but now definitely got a sour taste in their mouth after receiving a back ban out of nowhere. Most of them have been reverted. And in fact, one of the players, CSGO players, used to play Lost Ark, had a back ban on their account, has been overturned now, and it's just like, come on, guys. Like, this is this is not very good at all, okay? Now, let's just get into the busing. Either way, i got to say, Amazon, uh, they're just trying anything at this point, and it's not working, and whack-a-mole fan hammers like that it's not going to be very healthy for your game. Anyways, let's check the uh, first things first. Let's check the uh, busing. So we'll check the busing so far. Nothing early on a Sunday morning. I guess a lot of people are getting past these abyss dungeons as well. And notice there's an, you know, not even one page anymore. I probably will probably expect the same for uh, Argos as well. Another just one page. A lot of people doing card runs. No carries whatsoever. Um, 1,500 for a bus. Now let's see if they're doing any Voltan runs as well. Um, also, I've got to say for the uh, Abyss Dungeon runs, if you notice that there's no bots with the 1.2k anymore, so it could be working somewhat. Uh, with Voltaire, only one one or two pages, 1.7k, 1.3k. Vikas, same deal, only one page here as well. Maybe it scared a lot of people from the game with these bans coming up. There's not even a, a buy run at all for uh, the games. Now, with Cuckle Sign, there's about two to three, and Rashaza, that's where everyone is at the moment. So assuming that the Hyper Express event is just getting everyone to Broshaza at this point, so everyone can enjoy somewhat the end game as it is at the moment. Now obviously uh Vike is probably still around three or four K and Voltan down to 1.7k and now Dia, I Argos back to 1.5k for the bosses. 
Now let's check the Mario store here quickly as well while we're here. To Mario store coming up next, and you know, Mario store. We got the new year. You got the Witcher. So if you guys don't know that the Witcher special, so you get the Witcher skins now. I wonder how many people are purchasing that. It's actually heavily selling that, as you can see here. Look at the you know chest, the new Witch skin. It's a lot of new skins that are putting on the market. I wouldn't be surprised if the gold. You know, has started to be, begin to climb the crystal market because of this, and the world crystal market because of this. But actually, funnily enough, blue crystal prices have pulled back, okay? Because they were 4.2k, now they're 4k. And that's pretty good to see, but you want to see them pull back further. I guess it, this could be the lack of gold on the market, um, like too much gold on the market now. Um, I'm not terribly too sure. Because one person said previously as well, it's because the brochure has been completed now, the blue crystal price is going up. But why would it pull back? Because if anything, if the gold's taken out of the market, it means just the band would go up. But it could be to, due to the fact that uh, people wanting a lot more fions now. People seeing the bots have been banned, mean they, they can sell gold again without you know you know basically mixing it in with potential illicit gold. I'm not terribly too sure why this blue crystal drop has occurred. It's about by, by about two hundred gold per blue crystal drop. Next up, we're going to go to the AH, and, well, the AH, we're going to go to the honing mats, first of all. Now, everything here is just going to be 1G. Um, actually, i going to say the Tier 2 mats have been going up to 2G and 3G. And I guess a lot of people are speeding through Tier 2, and Tier 2 can be a bit rough, but I, I thought everything was a 100% success. I guess people don't want to spend too much on the Tier 2 mats to go through with it. Now, the Tier 3 mats are starting to go up a bit as well, So and also their protection of stones has gone up. And the Blue Rush Stones have gone up to 22G as well. And as I said before, like early on, it was really, really odd that it was very, very cheap. And I suspect a lot of people started buying those Tier 4 mats very, very cheaply at the start. Because now they're going to get stupidly expensive like this, where everyone needs a lot of Obliteration Stones and Protection Stones to get their gear honed. Now, Basic Arrays are now 14G each. I guess less people make it in their Stronghold. And I'd say if you want to make some Basic Arrays, probably want to do it now because it's pretty decent profit margin. Same with Superior Arrays as well. Harmonies and Lifestones have leapt up to 23G each, and this could be like the big bandwave towards bots where a lot of the lesser materials become more expensive because there's less bots farming it. Now, Greater Honor Leapstones have definitely gone down. Someone actually said it was gone down from 80G to 73. It's definitely dropped. Honor Leapstones still holding firm at 50. Solar Graces getting lower and lower in prices. I mean, Solar Protection is finally going belong 250. And Blessings is 133, and, and obviously Solar Graces to 52. How many shout patches are 287? Honor shards 300. Wait, where are the life shards? Well, there's no life shards on the market, but life shards would be more expensive than honor shards at the moment. But yeah, someone bought out all the life shards. The medium packs and the small packs. Or well, guess there's non maybe people not doing epic or blue maps anymore for life shards, which I'm gonna say I find quite surprising. Uh basically overall you can see here 547 on the harmony shards, medium shards, 600. Life shot patch has gone down to 740. Harmony to 867. Given the fact that Harmony shard pouches are easy to get, the life shard pouches pretty standing here. And our honor shard pouches now starting to begin their meteoric rise to 939. Now, still, I'm going to say right now, still tier 2 maps are slightly better. Slightly. It's getting to that point where it's getting very, very close. That tier 3 maps, buying one, like for a Panuka or anything like that, is going to be slightly better. Okay, at this point, it's getting very, very close. As you can see here, obviously tier one maps obviously big prior, given the fact that how many shard pouches are uh, within that range, and how many shard pouches are a lot cheaper than the honor shard pouches, but it's getting close to that range as well. Now honor shard pouches obviously going up. If the obliteration and, and uh, protection stones are going up, so are honor shard pouches. Simply put, it means everyone needs more to get that alt or anything like that to brochures at gate six. Given the fact that a lot of people who have saved the mats are probably at that point now, they don't need it anymore, they can sell in the market, but the middle of the pack people now need it. Therefore, the price just goes skyrocketing up because that 1% don't need it anymore, but the 99% still need it. So everyone's just shift shifting the stuff through. So it's getting to that close thing where you're thinking, hey, you know, maybe I could put those auto shard pouches if I'm the 1% onto the AH. I mean, if you take a look at for me, for example, I've got about like 160. I could probably get, you know, basically so much gold very, very quickly now. Next up, we're going to go to the consumables. Now, consumables are going to be a bit different here. We're going to check out the potions. I can, uh, I guess, say right now, it's probably gone, uh, it's probably gone down a bit. As you can see here, elemental potions are 32G. That is 
absolute steel material. It was 50 G. Jeez, their splendid HP is up below 100. And this just proves to the point, as everyone said, you know, once progression gets done, potions go, sky go plummeting. But to be fair, even when progression was still there, the other HP potions were, you know, still very cheap. And time stops are below 40 as well. Like, there's a lot of these uh, potions you guys can get for very, very cheap now the gold. Let's check the grenades. Grenades, they're below 50G as well, and that's huge. And also, the Splendid Dark is below 100. Whirlwind grenades, at holding on at 40, there's a few people selling it for 114 as well. Bombs. You can say destruction bombs have gone up slightly as well. Destruction bombs are at a kind of a high at the moment, given the fact they're 50G. Might be able to snipe in the market here, but overall, like, the consumables have definitely been going down. And that's really, really good to see. Now we're going to check the steak. Because we know tier two, tier two foods can be more expensive than tier three. Yep, here we go again. It's just a joke at the stage, okay? It's just an absolute joke at the stage. It is. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna prove it's gonna be like. Next up, we're gonna go to the engravings. Now you can see here, purple ones are gonna be super duper cheap. I gotta say, even the, uh, even some of the uh, like the really weak green engravings have become super expensive. I mean, you got 50g, 100g. I guess a, even a lot of people are getting gold. I mean, geez, this is the first time I've actually seen one legitimately above 200. I mean, gee, look, look at the recent prices. I guess, uh, I guess it's very, very volatile, this area. But first intention is pretty expensive. You've got to just find a green, you know, engraving that, like, if you can trade it, that's not so volatile. But look at this. Like, you can get some 200 Gs off your, like, you know, your green books if you need any now the blue ones is actually the first time i've not seen one at one g so this could be like a, a relation for the bot skiing band it's like the lesser engravings have become super expensive because no one farms it and you can see here once again like you know on another set in like the 200 getting closer to 200 range as well like and also some of them are, some of them are uh, combat ones as well this is obviously could be rmt but not very too sure but you can see here like you know a few of them as well like they're in a 200g range where basically um you could get a big decent chunk of money by farming blue and green ones if you can trade them that is now you can see here all the epic ones are always going to be 1g they're not going to be terribly too expensive i wouldn't i'd would be surprised if i see any in triple digits other than the new classes but there's a few of them in triple digits including pistolier and to be to be fair though pistolier i don't think is really that good but to be fair there's really no dead eyes and people might buy them at this price as well now, like I guess I don't think anyone will buy them at this price, but this is extremely volatile. I and mean, look at the market, like so so volatile. Like you look at the five day price, it goes from like you know, 10 G one day to like 100 G the next. It's like who's buying these? Especially on a very very volatile product. Now the legendary engravings as well. Obviously the ones that are not needed too much are very very cheap. But like I said, there are definitely some that um that if you do want to go for, they're pretty cheap at the moment. Like you know some of the combat ones, like pre um. Precise Dagger and stuff like that, and Supercharger, pretty, pretty cheap at the moment. Now, obviously, the main ones can be super duper expensive, you know, at this point. Like, ooh, Ambush Masters come back, Awakenings come down, and Experts come down. I'm going to say, if you want to buy these two ones, because these two are very, very good supporters, you probably should start hitting it up. Now, obviously, Grudge, Cursed Doll. Cursed Doll's dropped back a lot as well. Um, Adrenaline is starting to rise up. Obviously, the class ones are going to be all super high. Blessed Aura's dropped below 10k. Might be a time to be like, hey, might be purchased one below 10k. But you can see here, Summon is always going to be atop top these legendary ones. And one of them hitting 20k overall. Next, we're going to go to the gold market, which is basically the skins and pet market. I guess say overall, this should have... Pre I guess say with the Witcher skin being released, I wouldn't be surprised if the Witcher skin is super duper expensive. I guess say the Platinum skins, people are beginning to buy these. I mean, 340k, 279, 290 Seems pretty decent at the moment. I'm a bit surprised that the Witcher skins aren't on the AH at the moment. Maybe a bit later on. But you can see here, skins, I think they're a bit more... A bit more liquid to this week compared to last week where we had pages of no average day prices and anything like that. So they're a bit more liquid today, which is good to see. I guess the Witcher skins must not be uh, tradable. No, there it is. I guess people are buying it with gold, not very too sure, but 40k. Like you can see here, a lot of different skins selling. Actually, there's a few pages with no sells, but overall, I'm gonna say it's a bit more liquid this time around. I think people are purchasing skins. We're gonna to get to the pet market now as well, and we're just looking at here as well. 
the pet market, I'm going to say seen better, seen slightly better days, but today has been pretty decent. A lot of the selection packs being purchased. As you can see, I, I don't understand why the pets that have been picked out are more expensive than the selection chests. If I'm going to be honest, I just I just would pick that and then select one of these pets, you know, at this stage because I think it's, uh, I don't know. I have no idea why people are putting the selection pets cheaper because, yeah, I just don't know. I, I, I honestly, I'm just clueless about it. But anyways, guys, that's going to be enough for the pets and skins. Overall, as you can see, the pet prices and skins prices have gone slightly down, but not too much down. Some of the rarer skins, like the Platinum Collector Pack and stuff like that, they're going to stay internally expensive due to the rarity of it. Next up, we're going to go to the gem market. We're going to look at the tier 3s. We're going to look at the legendaries. And we're going to make sure we get out of our uh, dead eyes. So we can actually have more than 3 pages of... Uh, 3 pages of uh, auctioning. But you can see here that the gem price is starting to hit 20k. And this is against the market. Because generally with the gem prices, it follows the market... Uh, follows the blue crystal market quite well. I think this is kind of like a lag... Kind of catch up sort of thing. Because what happened, I'm going to say right now... Is that when the um, market uh, went up initially... If you think about it the gem market didn't move so i think it's more of a reaction to it that the gem market is now reacting to it now as you can see here the gem market at la at last probably is quite expensive we're going to go to the relics this is where the gem market starts to head up and you can see here even the cooldown around it hasn't hit 300k yet but you can see here like you know even after the first page it's going to hit 300k so you can obviously say you know the, the damage ones are going to be a lot higher generally they are three times higher but this time around, that they've gotten a bit less than three times higher. So you can see now it's like hitting the 800k mark. But let's just go to the cheaper ones to see, like, you know, what stabilization we've got. We've got 730, maybe 720 for the damage ones. I gotta say, that's really, really cheap. And give us like three times the price generally. Yeah, 689 being the cheapest. And that's incredibly cheap for a damage, for a damage gem. Probably for a bad ability, I assume. Assault Blade, yeah, maybe. But you can see here, like, you know, basically it's still. Du almost double 2.5 <sighs> sorry guys so you want to a bit tired sometimes you you know when you think you're tired you yawn that's what happened here but every as you can see here 689k for a cheap not 2.5 over but i'm going to say it has moved up like the prices of gems have moved up next up we're going to get to the accessory market as well we're going to see how much uh like if we're going to see like how much um so obviously you're going to scale back. How much uh, RMTs have been happening since, you know, the occurred? I guess, let's just see. Well, that, that's some RMT. Like, you can tell the RMTs here. I'm just going to say, in general, unless there's 100 and, and obviously 5 free, everything that is selling here is RMT, okay? I'm going to put it that way. If anyone wants to say it's not RMT, you feel free. But you wouldn't be buying a, a thing that's not 5 free. For that price like for example you wouldn't be buying this 1.75 okay even though it's got first century five you wouldn't be buying it for that much let's just go through the market till we find something that you know is definitely worth it okay so i'm just going to look at the 100 g's at the moment even predator i guess can be worth but i don't think it's worth it in that regards just checking what is next death blow ambush well to see this is one where you say hey this would be 700k okay so basically scrappers would want this okay But overall, I'd say, like, I'm just, I'm prepared to just go down to the 200k mark and be like, hey, this is where, like, you know, the ones that you're actually going to want are the ones that you're going to purchase. I mean, Empress Grace Hitmaster, yeah, that's pretty decent. There's, like, I gotta say, like, basically, if you look at the recent prices and say, oh my god, you know, a trinket selling from one mil, is that what the price is going to, I'm going to be paying? It's going to be fairly, fairly unlikely that you're going to be ever paying those prices, okay? Like, you can get good stuff for about... 200g this is another rmt as well also you can have some rmts mixed in with it but most of the good shit will go for like 200 uh, between 300 to 200k and even the lesser items will probably go for a bit less i mean you can see here like there's a few things grudge and summon it this one this one's actually pretty decent specialization summon a grudge adrenaline empress's grace that could go pretty good as well and you can see here there's a few things where it's just like hey you know i can see this going for this sort of price very very easily Now you can see, you can obviously see all the uh, all the ones where it's just RMT induced because no one would buy those ability stones at that price as well, and in fact it's even still occurring now as people are still RMTing as well. 
Now, this is an RMT, just an FY. No one will buy a Dominion set for that much. And you can see here, it's a crit eyes, crit spec. You know, this is a very good one. Look at that. You know, 95 spec, 80 crit. Of course, it's going to be very, very high price. And you can see here, secondary stats are still supreme for bracelets. Overall, I'm going to say right now, like, you know, ignore anything that's over, like, unless it's, like, perfect quality and perfect stats. No nothing's going to be over 500k, okay? Like, most of your best pieces are going to be between 100k and 200k, or you're just going to get in a drop. And sometimes you don't need your exact best pieces to clear content. Now with the ability stones, this is littered with RMT. I mean, look at the RMT here. Nothing is going to be 400k. You see 400k, that's bullshit, okay? You can just call that for bullshit. You can see here, like, you know, look at this, okay? Look at this, like, no, like when you see anything going above 10k, unless it's Ambush Master Adrenaline, like there's a few combat ones that will go above it. As soon as you hit here, you know it's bullshit, okay? Like, this is bullshit prices. But anything below it, like anything below, like the, probably the 4k mark, is not bullshit. Just double check the fingers. You know, adrenaline grudge, that's going to sell for heaps. They are very, very good ability stones that people will, you know, craft because they are very, very good. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. I know I spent a lot of time talking about the uh, backbands. That was completely ridiculous. As you guys can see here, the bracelets and accessories, stuff like that, you, you can buy, still buy decent gear on the market as well. Obviously, just dodge the RMTs. I gotta say, the RMT has been slowed a bit. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take before all the gold's out of the market. You don't see these people putting accessories and gems and braces up for ridiculous prices so you can sell it to someone. Um, you know, obviously, there's gonna, there should be at this stage a lot less RMT, but we'll see what occurs. But, anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in for our set of economy for the 22nd of January. Hope to see you guys soon and hope you guys have a great day.